it's been great. Uh, we definitely improved. Uh, we came into the summer with the mindset we wanted to get better and and um, have a dominant offense along to go with our running game, uh, dominate passing the ball as well. And the guys really bought in. The receivers fought hard this summer, and uh, I was tough on them by asking a lot of things, getting them up, trying to you know, catch passes with me every chance I got. And they responded well, and they had a great summer as well as a great fall camp. Yeah, I mean, uh, I think everybody, uh, when they come here, they want to start. Uh, but I think that any any anybody that he uh, deems the starter, um, I think that it's it's okay with me because I know that we both put in the time, we both put in the effort, um, and you know we're going to uh, support each other either way it goes. I think there's more similarities than there are differences. Uh, I would not uh, hesitate to uh, make a call if there was a real advantage to one over the other in a situation. Um, but uh, again, I, I think they're both competing. You know, you know, towards that, uh, you know, that, that for, for that first game, and I, again, I think that they're they're very similar, and uh, I think Brandon obviously is a little bit more, uh, you know, explosive, but uh, Anthony's, you know, a little bit more veteran. Regardless if the starting quarterback is Brandon Harris or Anthony Jennings, he knows he can rely on who he's handing it off to, Leonard Fournette. Well, and it's an important year for Fournette because he's going for the Heisman Trophy. He's going to be in that candidate race, and he talked about a lot of great things that he can pick up from his freshman year into a very important sophomore year for the team. Uh, I'm better than blocking, you know, being more patient and um, understanding the game. Harris or Jennings will have plenty of weapons to throw the ball to, including Malachi Dupree and Traven, I'm not Batman, Durrell. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not Batman. <laughs> I'm Trayvon Durrell. <laughs> I would probably say just the mental, the mental part of the game. You know, last year um, may not have taken as, as serious as I needed to. Um, you know, the game is half mental and half physical in my opinion. And I think moving forward, having a mental capacity I have now. And a guy like Coach Ball is a teacher with us every day. He stresses mental mental things and the little things. And, um, you know, I think that make, that takes my games to another level. Um, just, you know, growing, you know, maturing, running routes, you know, gaining weight, you know, knowing how to control my body, you know, making contested catches. It may take the LSU Tigers offense a little bit of time to get going if it is a new starting quarterback and he being a sophomore, Brandon Harris. But defensively, they should get off to a tremendous start. This team is loaded. Well, just like you said, they got safety incorporated with Jalen Mills and Jamal Adams, and Ed Orgeron's done so many great things with this defensive line. Yeah, well, we have some new freshmen that are coming in. Uh, guys are getting better. We feel like we're going to have a very good group. As a whole defense, you know, I think that we can help each other out around the whole entire defense. So, I mean, me and Jalen Mills, you know, we're going we're gonna to definitely play our game back there. Um, and <laughs> and uh, <laughs> come on, man. We're going we're gonna to definitely uh, play well back there. But, you know, the D-line, that's, that's where they, if they get pressure up front, then that's when we make our plays. Yeah, he calls himself J. Mills. I don't know why, but because his mother birthed him Jalen Mills, so he wants people to call him J. Mills or Money Mills, but it, it doesn't it doesn't make sense to me. So I just I just kind of block him out, you know. <laughs> just like you said, we're the last line of defense. So if anything happens, I mean, guys are looking at us, you know, and and for us too. I mean, the expectations for us are high. Mine's are high for him. His are high high for me. And that bond that we have, I mean, it's not to let each other down, you know, and, and, and I trust him and he trusts me. LSU does seem to be loaded defensively and at the wide receiver spot and running backs, but when it all comes down to it, it's all going to be on the quarterback's shoulders for the 2015 season. Once again, at the 2015 LSU Media Day, I'm Dave Schultz along with Chet Yoder for 1037 The Game and 1037thegame.com.